Okay, let's, that doesn't need to go to the hip depths. Anyway, uh, train one more guy in there because we're missing one. And let's start training the other dudes that I wanted anyway. Got 24 of them. And because the Italian thing. If I invite Italy, it will prevent a stupid war with Italy. But I just won't call them into the war. Maybe one of my puppets calls him in. I think it doesn't, shouldn't be. All right, so Finland called in Norway because really, why would you do that? All right, we, okay, they're automatically in the war. We got the Luvaf expansion thing and we're gonna go into the Lycus division. Shouldn't be that more far behind, but it's, uh, Occasionally it just completely baffles me that how utterly dumbfounded and stupid the AI is. Because um, this is exactly what happened. Um, this province is only occupied by a couple of tanks, that's it. So the AI is, is it tells the divisions you can't move there because of attrition issues. So now we move them in there manually and then all of a sudden it's like, oh wait, we can move them in there, fine. So now I can move away the tanks, set them up somewhere else. Okay. Put some infantry in there. Get some more infantry in there. Just hold the line. Move the way the armor and there. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, 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 where are you going? Okay, yeah, no, let's just abandon an entire province. That seems like a very good idea. What the hell is with this spacing? What am I looking at? Well, luckily, I moved in some infantry in time. What is... Sometimes, man. Jesus Christ. No, I don't want to delete that guy. That's one of my new barrack divisions. Alright, there we go. That's that. Like, holy shit. Get your shit in order, man. Um, What the hell are you telling I can do? Create African... Si oh, I don't really give a shit about those, to be honest. Um, really? Alright. Uh, yeah, this is the Polish one that we kind of... Probably... You know what? Probably better idea because we're having like trouble with uh, some of the territory we've taken. So getting a smaller general government set up here should, you know, yeah, will be fine. Um, now what I could do is do the following to relieve some pressure. Set up tanks right here on the border with Nice and see if we can just bash through and create enough trouble on that one. Alright, these are my marines, so you get the new army group. Um, led by this guy, and because you're infantry anyway, so you can do this. It's fine. Um, what are you, Brazil? Yeah, but it probably joins himself anyway because he declares a war. Yeah, we're not going to do anything with the SS, because we don't want to do any foreign influence. Don't care much about this. Okay, look, so great, we're good. Right, I've got some trouble with some materials. Because we're building large amounts of... And I think I can cease all trade with Portugal and just take everything from... Sweden. Yep, there we go. All right, um, a couple more rubber refineries will probably be a good idea. So there we go. All right, um, so this guy seems to be suffering. Um, redo my lines is in the, oh, you mean all my military lines? Yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Okay, they're not even moving. That's just... Ugh. It is bad. 
Can we by now push in here? Like the defensive bonus is so stupidly high, even though these guys are like almost completely out of supply. Look at our attack. Because two minus two hundred percent of a fort. Like really? Really? Minus two hundred percent of a fort? So I need to starve them out completely, which is kind of annoying. And there we got some marching music again, and my brain just turns to mush. I think it is the access radio. Yeah, don't ask me why. People have asked me this before. I just... Somehow it messes with my brain cells. Alright. Um, let's see. All right, this is a big mess as usual. Because nobody can actually handle this. Uh, go there. Go there. Um, okay. What are we looking at here? Uh, go there, there, go there, you take that, you take that, and I'll probably send them down here-ish, and it's just the annoying, and it's, yeah, it's, you know, terrain uncrossable makes sense, but it's just a little bit annoying. Um, I can actually send these guys to here for now and assist with that, uh, sort of, I guess. There we go. Just go and do some work. And we'll get some division training time reduction, which is also pretty good. And when this is all cleaned up, we should be... This will be a lot easier to get some stuff done. Um, all right. Good, good. This is all... Get it done. Get it done, get it done. Yep, okay. Um, hopefully the other bits and bobs in here are held by our allies. Probably not, but we'll kind of have to see how that works. What do we got? Some random infantry that I don't give a shit about. Alright, uh, let's call Italy into the war. It's gotta be a mess, but whatever. Italy will accept the war, and they'll immediately start attacking. Let's not attack into the bunker, but let's just see if we can get the coastline done here. Alright, there we go. Netherlands cave to the British. Hopefully, as long as they don't join. It's just that they, you know, don't get the fascism support that they otherwise would uh, sort of need. Now... Yeah, this unit is affected by attrition. Now, I wonder how long that attrition will last. Like, if you look look at the difference here, like, they have very little left and remaining, and I could push them in a little bit. Uh, same for this airfield, probably. Just Let's push them a little bit more closely into their lines, make their attrition even worse. And without an airfield, it might even be more difficult for them to do anything. Alright. There we go. Um, now I do foresee some problems. I need some of you to go here and hold that specific thing we just captured. And okay, we over actually overran some troops. Nice. Alright, so it's just a little bit of the Maginot line. Like, it's great that they have it for them, but it's really utterly useless. Um, let's go some middle bits there. What do we got? Some more Swedish garrison divisions. Uh, enjoy them yourselves. Alright. Um, stop blocking off my troops, please. Um... Where is this? Oh, wait, you're like an annoying color right now. Um, like proper navy blue. Bam. All right, there we go. Because it's the same color as these guys up top here, which is just going to annoy the crap out of me. These guys will push down. And I could probably bomb it down, but then I need to start producing bombers. And I haven't really kept up on bomber research, so... Mm -hmm. So, yeah, partially on my own mistake, of course. But... Uh, I have the factories for it, I just don't have the research. Uh, I don't even know if I got the aerial control. I don't, so even bombing it's got to be difficult. But at least we took the airport, so it should be a little bit easier. Uh, speaking of aircraft... Can I... Yep, dupe that. 
Can I do this one? Yep. All right, cool. Okay, these guys at least now have their all uh, also their aircraft. Oh, look at that. That's uh perfect. That is a messy bit, but oh, if we don't forget to take the harbor, I might have kind of done goof there. Um, I was hoping the uh, Italians might have followed a little bit faster, but they didn't, of course. All right, should be okay. As long as I, you know, got a tank still over here. Why don't you uh, make your ass over there? Can't assist with that attack. It's like a bad one, really. That one might be easier. Yep. All right. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Probably should have done it a little bit smarter, and luckily I was paying a little bit of attention at least. All right. So we'll assist with that one from the lands, which makes it a little bit easier. And we immediately, you know, lock in some... Uh, yeah, no, get out of there. All right, some French idiots are trying to get in, but my panzers are everything but idiots. There we go. Assist that attack for me, please. And let's get rid of the... Uh, Tanks there. All right, there we go. And we'll uh, set up a nice driving line, something like that. That could be pretty fun. Hey ho, let's go. Just put on the pressure. And uh, you know, that pocket is just perfectly sitting there, not doing anything of any use. All right, so more tanks can go in. But our tanks at our attrition levels, it seems like we're actually producing them at a decent fucking pace. I am, however, burning through some fuel, so we probably want to look at our research and get some of that fixed. Oh, Leon Trotsky got assassinated. Well, shouldn't have been a communist. Um, Alright, North Africa lost. We got a Lactis division. We got... Okay, there are mortar teams. Research that. Thank you. More Swedish garrisons that I don't want. So fucking keep them. Still wish there was a button, like, hey, don't give me shit, because I don't want it. Such an easy button. Probably have these things kind of the other way around. Um, also, I know, like how that just drew a fucking odd order. Like, probably should have used the green guys on top. Look at that. This is, this is, this is also a, this is one of my biggest pet peeves, is that the AI cannot maintain any logical assault lines. All right, I'm going to actually put you all down on the bottom here. And assist from there. Right, got some ace pilot promotions going on. Alright, I'm gonna need two of you to go to Trondheim. I need one of you to go to Stavanger. And you to go to Bergen. And I need you idiots. And just can I get a couple of you just go to Narvik? Like this lot. Like the remainder of you go and uh be less useless. There. Alright, uh, the three of you, just finish that off, will you? There's just some... Okay, I've got an agent captured, so... Where? Who captured you? The French commune, and I cannot rescue my... Oh, I don't have the network for it. Uh, new network in Paris. When is the next spy coming in? Oh, no operative being recruited. Son of a bitch. And also, I'm going to need more passive defense. As well as uh, some ciphers and cryptology and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's a lot that I actually need to do. I need to pe keep paying attention to it. Oh, we're looking down here. Tanks do a lot of work against the enemy, as we kind of hoped for. Uh, sadly, that now the territory goes to Lyon, which is, or, I mean, to uh, Italy. But it is the easier way through. Why don't we just drive towards Paris? And that should be France, because they're not that strong, really, regarding their defensive. You keep your guys as well. Thank you for building them, but, you know... Don't really do anything with it. Brazil is 
taking it easy, that's probably for the best. Right, these are our military police. Yeah, and these, this one is shit, so let's just get rid of it. Alright, um, this is looking not great, but it seems to be working. The Marines are doing actually some good work. These guys are still not understanding anything. So you want to immediately create the Reichskommissar out of it. Uh, Italian-German technology treaty, yeah, sure. Because we've got the Italians in anyway. And we'll do the raiding fleet there. Let's get our defense up, because it actually shows us that our defenses are problematic. And I still need to get to rescue my spy once we have the network for it. Um, but we might have killed France before that becomes an actual thing. We already taken Bordeaux. Turkey builds up. Okay, well, good luck with that, Turkey. I don't know what you're planning on doing, but... All right, my tanks are not capable of just driving into Lyon, sadly enough. We're really reliant here on Italy, actually, you know, keeping the front line occupied, because we're just creating holes. As fun as, as fun holes are, they need to be occupied. Uh, recon radio. Yeah, let's just get it. A lot of research. I think uh, this is a yeah, the naval bomber. Okay, Norway has capitulated. Good. So I should be able to make make the Reichskommissar Norway again. Nor Norway again. Yes, and they can defend their own fucking borders. Uh, let's get you somewhere around there. And yeah, at some point we still need to get through the Soviet Union, but as things are, I think I'd rather focus on the Allies first. Oh, fast recap. Hey, <laughs> Crusade, the Secret 3. Yeah, that's fun. Fast recap, we invited in Italy. We are kind of ignoring all the other bits because Italy was just for, like, as Yugoslavia and didn't want to get them into the war, so kind of felt that I had to pull them into the faction. And so we circled around France, got a pocket here, and we kicked the shit out of Norway. That's basically the fast recap of what you missed. So, not, not much, really. And we've got Rommel um, making a mess in uh, southern France. Um, and I had to do a quick reload because uh, the AI sucks ass. <sighs> what do you mean, keeping front lines occupied? Alright, so that's all done. Denmark is probably sitting here like, I'm neutral. And I want to keep it that way, Denmark. Nah, you didn't miss much. We've only been running for 30 minutes-ish. 30, uh, 35 minutes, anyway. And this specific bit we've done only lasted 18 minutes, so it's not been that bad. But how are you, John? How is life treating you? I am gonna need some steel factories, because we are trading away a lot of stuff. So... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, nope, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, mm. there we go, now we got, now we got 30 of them. Uh, I want you to finish these first, and this is almost done, this one is almost done, and this one is almost done, alright. Rather do that than I trade all my steel with the Russians, which is probably not really the best of ideas. Alright, right, good, good to hear that you're super great. That's, uh... That's good, super. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's take Lyon. Alright, can I get you two in Orle Orléans? Uh, try it from you, here, 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 you, here, here, here. So we get both sides of the river. Oh wow, they're actually managing to defend it. Really? What the hell's going on? Holy shit, their defense and attack is pretty good actually, and they... But they cannot penetrate our tank, tank division, so that's better. 
All right, got some logistic companies. I think we're good here. This is all 42. That's a year ahead of time. We had some, you can get some new light tanks a little bit faster. 192 days for, ooh, or it's two and a half years ahead of time. But in 454 days, we could, we, we switch from our Panzer Force to, uh, yeah, let's just go early on it. It's not smart, but it might be better. Holy shit. Your CK3 ruler is 73? Well, good luck with that. That sounds uh, sounds like quite the, uh, quite the challenge. You're playing on Iron Man or... Uh, that's... Uh, sounds... Uh, I, I, I still... I, I need more time. Like, having a job sucks in certain regards, because I, I have a lot of things that I need to do and I don't have the time for it, and I also need to, you know, to, to work. Which is, uh, it sounds like I'm complaining about jack shit, but, um... I've got too many hobbies, man. Um... <laughs> too many hobbies. I'm doing a miniature painting competition with a large model, so I need time. Nice for the Iron Man, by the way. Uh, so I need time for that, which is just still only have like 17 days remaining. I need to do a CQ3 review. I've recently received a key for the new Battle Brothers DLC, which it needs to do a review. I'm streaming three times a week. I have a full fucking time job, and I do actually have a bit of a social life. Not a lot anymore, but... <laughs> it's... Uh, I'm, yeah, it's stupid stuff to complain about. Let's put it that. All right, let's um, get some German tanks into Paris, because that sounds like something they won't like me doing. Uh, actually, why don't we drive into... Just drive past them. That works. Thanks for taking Paris, shitlords. We'll uh, flank around them. The fall of Paris. Yeah, fuck you, you commie bastards. I'm really glad France actually joined the Allies and didn't decide to be funny to join the... Um, join the flipping Russians. Alright, let's go to Lille. Calais, that kind of stuff. Alright, what do we got? That's still Swedish troops. Um, what are we gonna do? Is there anything down here that's actually interesting? No, no. No, well, yeah, actually, there's some stuff interesting here. No, that's actually not true. Well, that might be okay, but nothing really... Yeah, there's some bits and bobs around here that are interesting. So let's get the Kampfgruppe, because I think the advanced Britlitzkrieg might be pretty good. We'll have to take a look at that. Um, France, can you just do a, a solid favor and capitulate? Because I am kind of done with you. Oh, let's hold. Let's not make this a little bit... Okay, and cut them off. There we go. That makes things easier. <laughs> All right, what is there from France remaining that is... Uh, I think we need to take Brest. And... Can the other groups just do like this? Go and... We got a tank blocked. That's not good. Let's uh, drive back into Lille. Because uh, I really don't like the idea of... All right, I need to hold because I want you to be able to defend. I want you to assist me in the little bit. Kind of like how actually the AI built bunkers on the Belgian border, but you know, considering we, we never went through Belgium. And looks like we have our tanks secured. There we go. And we kind of lost it again. But the little attack seems to be going, so. There we go. All right. That's looking good. Wow, France really is not willing to capitulate. So let's take Khan and Chabok. Shub I, I, I know most of the American names for these, which is terrible. Because I can actually speak a little bit of French. Like René, Lurian, Brest. And it's Brest or Bre. Because they don't, they don't pronounce shit in French. Um, How did my fleet get involved in this? You guys are not active here, right? No, you're on hold. Is that literally only the only fleet that I've got remaining? Uh, 
Automatic reinforcements is not really necessary considering that we're not really doing anything with that. And I'm just putting Lost Destroyer. A commune war. I don't know really. France just, even though they flipped um, with, uh, they flipped towards uh, communism, they still joined the allies. So that's kind of how France got them, themselves involved. Um, but we have like the majority of them locked up here. So that's not really any concern anymore. Okay, uh, let's get you into Rennes. I said, let's get you into Rinne. Lorient, Prest. Right, um, and I want some more... Bewegungskrieg! You know what? Just activate it. Bam. That should give us some more attack, speed, everything. I need a couple more tanks really down here. So let's send over a couple of them. And... I'm surprised France is not surrendering yet. Like, holy shit. Oh, we're at 100%. There we go. Okay, we've got our Marines upgraded. So that's at least back up to snuff. This is all ahead of time, about a year. So at least we're good there. Tanks, we were working on that. I'm, am I using light tanks? I'll just switch the question. Am I producing light tanks? Yeah, a couple of them. And we all still need them for upgrades, so... Not really that important right now. Look at let's look at artillery. Right, we can use better artillery guns, so let's get those first. Yeah, they attack me by joining the allies, so it's not my offense. Like I'm kind of uh, don't like the fact that Italy got like old territory because we used the Italians to push through. So what I'm probably gonna do is. Ask for control of the state, but I probably won't give it to me, so I might yes man this because I don't think they deserve it. And I definitely need this territory because I can form, you know, support states. Uh, you know what? I'll just yes man it because, like I said, they don't deserve it. Italy, you're a junior partner, even though you don't tr consider yourself one. Alright, so now we are in control of all of the states. Disable that. Thank you. Hey, there we go. Fall of Paris. Also, we're really reliant on having this done. And, uh, like, a lot of our focuses and decisions work off it. Alright, so... Still kind of fucked by the Finland thing. But, uh, okay, we got Norway. So why are you still in there? Oh, it's the expanding here. Oh, okay, so we go on the other end. England, Ukraine. Why is there no French thing that's weird maybe because i still need like an event or is there a thing somewhere in here don't want to prepare to eat. nope um can't do that that's really annoying we actually kind of locked out here because we didn't do the dancing negotiations or because the pole is already dead i might have fucked myself in that i might need to do a little bit of um like bypassing stuff here. Or have you made a comment? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, I have. Um, to lessen the problems of, of attrition here uh, from um, resistance to occupation and stuff. Um, right, uh, that reminds me of operatives. So I can actually tell you to start, you know, murdering French resistance members because that is definitely how you treat the French. And that also means that I could probably start doing some anti-partisan stuff. Alright. Uh, surprised these guys still even are alive. Even though... Yep, they are pretty much considering themselves to be... Oh, oh, it's green. Oh, they're finally starting to look like they don't have anything remaining. Um... Yeah, I just need to clean up the last bits here, and I think we'll be okay. Probably need to uh, maintain a... Uh, oh, I can actually see a problem happening right there. Get back in your pocket. Let's not allow these asshats to resupply their little pocket there. That should be not a good thing if that happens. Alright, so let's just clean this up. Really? You think with you and your truck you can just kind of do that? That's so rude. Alright, uh, my marines, you can, I have new orders for you. You're gonna naval invade from here to Dover, alright. 
Next up is, you don't need to do anything for me. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab my naval bombers. Deploy them here. Okay, these guys have proper range now. That's pretty good. Uh, you're my, oh, you're my scout planes, my bad. I need to go over the English channel and I need you to fly over the south of England. Naval bombers, they're here, right. That makes a little bit more sense. Get you to Paris. Start bombing the English Channel. Now the fighters that we have here, we'll deploy them here in the Nord Pas de Calais. Um, let's dupe these. Uh, let's just see if we can what we can duplicate here. Fly there. Give them more ground crews to boost that. And right, Rommel, I need you to just kind of push this last bit in and get rid of it. It's mostly some British troops that remain, and they're cut off from any supply, so they'll die out fast enough anyway. Um, so the trick is, we are gonna need to... Holy shit, okay, we're losing... Maybe it might be in total, we're not that easy anymore as the... Uh, to get rid of... Um... Oh, we also got our new troops coming in, good. There we go. Um, might not, maybe not be blah, 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 blah. Might not be as easy as it was to do a lot of things. Um, I need a couple of things done. I need you to defend this coastline. There we go. We probably need some, the other armies that we're training um, need to pick up on that as well. But I'm, okay, so it might not be easy as more, anymore to bomb the fleet into oblivion. And I wanted to build radar. Jesus, my brain is not functioning. I need, I need, some, I need a day off. <laughs> uh, right, let's get some radar station there. Maybe if I overlap that with a radar station in Brittany, we might be golden. Because uh, we need to see if we can get that invasion going. Because usually the the Brits don't have any forces on the mainland, so it should be easy. Holy shit! You guys should not be on the water. Nope, you're gonna get fucked by submarines. Okay. Um. Cheeky fuckers. Uh, let's just, you know, uh, limit some of the naval zones. And prevent really anybody from, if possible, doing anything on the fucking water. Yeah. I don't think it's a massive fleet battle. I think it's... Why are my ships here? Oh, these are just convoys, I think. Are they? Yeah, they're convoys. Am um, I just... Why are... What the hell's going on? I have no fleets that are set to actively do anything. You're select to hold in a port. And you're actually over in that port. How am I destroyers being hit? Um, also, let's put these guys on do not engage and move them over here. I don't know what's going on. But people are... Deciding that water is a thing that they want to move across. So let's not do that. Okay, I'm gonna limit their movement through the area. So that should only allow them to move through the Baltic Sea. Alright, uh, cleaning up this bit here. Now these guys are gonna be annoying to get rid of because they've got this stupidly large force. Now my tanks even will not be able to push through there. All right, let's get some guys to clean that up. All right, some Belgian. Oh, we captured some enemy operatives. Okay. Uh, so it's either mobile defense and Nachtgefecht, which is night fighting. Uh, gives us a head of time for reaching and door. It is as fast. It replaces the Bewegungskrieg with Blitzkrieg, armor division attack, breakthrough, mechanized unit attack. Oh, that's just really good. Uh, and this just gives me chief of army, which is 11% efficient defense is really good, but I think it rather. Is it war with the United States, Soviet Union? Huh. Holy crap. No, I think we'll take the advanced Blitzkrieg, because there's nothing really... Oh, that's pretty good, actually. It was a general staff with improved general staff. Well? I need Panzer Division. And either multiple guns or rocket artillery, so we'll uh, do that. Here we go. 
Yeah, I still need to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do this because I've got I've just started losing destroyers. Like we've got a lot of fights here, but it seems we're not really sinking anything. So I don't know really how I'm gonna solve this issue yet. Hmm. Okay, I don't no longer need you there, so you can move over here as well. And assist with that bit. Wow, the Germans have more healthcare now than the Americans. Anyway, um... Stupid joke. Dockyard output might be necessary, I, as much as I hate doing it. Uh... Um, what do I need? Um, I need a lot, but... Oh, my Jesus, we can already go... Uh, holy crap, I need more research slots. Um, I don't necessarily need any more production right now. Oh, this also gives me, like, a division recovery rate and all kinds of other stuff. I want it. Uh, I don't need construction speed. I, I need more aircraft. So... Yeah, let's make it cheaper to produce my aircraft. And let's start working on output. Because I don't really know what else. Uh, I can get the cheaper cast real fast. So let's take the... Well, not cheaper, the better close air support. Oh, we got an Australian operative. And... Oh, right, one of my guys is still captured. By whom? By the United Kingdom. Okay, uh, can we rescue? Yep, okay. And, oh, resume mission. Haha. -ha. See, I do listen. All right, so this is just annoying because it's got to take an, an F ton of effort to get through because of the insane defensive bonus that it gets. Um, because somehow we pushed in some new troops here. Uh, let's push in some more infantry to defend. I've got a tank to defend. That's good. <laughs> like, I need bombers to get through there. I just don't have any bombers. <laughs> it's all occupied also by British forces, which makes it even worse. What happens if I just... Like, go in here en masse? Maybe if we can weaken them at least a little bit, it will do something. It's probably not, not the way to do it, but... Uh, I still have a lack of amphibious warfare equipment. That's not really a lack. It's in, oh, because I'm training new ones? Seems all my guys survived, though. But they're needing equipment, right? All right, so they did take a lot of damage, but the actual division su survived. Uh, we produce a lot of guns. Wait, early war equipment? Holy shit, that's considered early war equipment. Ugh. Um, kind of odd. We cannot set up a collaboratory France. So how the hell is that supposed to work? Occupied territory, free France. I don't know. Free France doesn't exist, sweetheart. It's the French Commune. Yeah, free France. You can release free France as a liberation. No, but I want to. I want a collaboration government. Um, weird shit. Um. Well, again, I just have to get civilian oversight, keep that going. Uh, Hollow March is increasing, boy. It's going to be a while before we can do anything, really. Well, let, let, let's let that do its thing. Um, for now, I think we'll be okay. All right, got a new industry works going, which can lead to... Let's, okay, this is not really as necessary right now. So I think I'm going to go and just... Oh, get the production lines going. This is why I usually hate calling in Italy, because it just adds in stuff in here, which I don't really want to worry about. There's a lot of stuff happening there on the water, but I'm not really seeing a lot happening yet. I think I also just genuinely need to start increasing the amount of... Um, 
Oh, I have a lot of them in reserve, but I'm going to put more. We're going to just overwhelm the living hell out of them. Um, so, I'm actually going to put 100 here to defend the craft from leaving. And uh, Let's duplicate all of you and start bombing there as well. My total construction bonus is 13%. It's not that high. And the total production bonus that we're having is pretty good, actually. We got plus 84% factory output. Okay, Greece capitulated. Good for Greece. Or maybe not good for Greece, but good for us, I guess. Um, we're running out of fuel, though, which is a little bit of a problem. Okay, we don't longer have fate of Greece. And does that lead to anything interesting? Nope. Mm, that's really annoying that we can't not do that. I think because we don't have the war with France, we're not capable of doing the uh, setting up the French things. So that's a little bit annoying. Also, we just get another war declaration going. I don't know. I still hate the fact that we are not making any progress in getting through here. <laughs> like we have no no supplies, no anything, but we're still not gonna die. Ugh, I hate the Maginot line. It's such a word. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of weird that the, the Danzig negotiations did get bypassed because there is no thing called Danzig. Um, Japan. Yeah, you're probably going to get me into war with the USA. So let's make you a little bit less likely to do so. Low manpower? Oh, really? Well then, let's go and start conscripting some dudes. Factory output is insane anyway, so uh, let's go. Hey ho. Um, what is it? Oh, we can recruit some new spies. Let's get some. Um, let's get our anti partisan a little bit further up there. I, great, this window is booked. Great. Um, all right. Anyway, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Holland is attacking. You are completely correct. I did not notice. I, am I just missing pop-ups, or am I just, you know, my brain just ignoring anything? It's also the Netherlands, not Holland, but that's a pet peeve. <laughs> like, Holland is this bit here. That's Holland. The rest of it is not Holland. Oh god, this is gonna be, uh... This is the second time this campaign that somebody just joined into the war without me noticing and nearly fucking killing me, so great, great stuff. Thanks for sh letting me know, though. Thanks for also highlighting it by using points. I really need to, uh... I don't know what it is with Hearts of Fire 4, but I have a tendency to miss a lot of stuff happening. Also, just, maybe it's because there's 40,000 different icons on the screen, so kind of zone out after a while. I thought I was training more guys. We're missing what? Medium infantry trucks. Okay. Um, let's get another 10 of them going, I guess. Even though it's going to be a while before we start building them again. So let's start getting some of these back up. Ah, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Like I said, it's a, it's a stupid pet peeve of mine. Don't don't worry about it. It's uh, all right, Rommel. You can be a lot more aggressive about this because this this is just a Dutch man. It's just some Dutch guys. All right. Um, what I probably should do is the following: switch you over to so get the destroyers and make a modification. And start mine laying the fuck out of the area. Because um, if you got 100% mines, I think you actually get... Um, I don't actually need sonar. Remove that and remove the... Yeah, we'll keep the torpedoes. There we go. Alright, let's start adjusting them. Get the new hulls in. Let's start just start mine laying the entire area. 
I think they did. Yeah. So uh, that's how, that's kind of how they get in. So you get like this. I don't I don't know if I get the pop ups. It might be something that I've disabled. I've disabled a lot of them. No, just I don't know. It's annoying at least. Uh, am I also running out of radios? Yeah, I do. Okay, so we got another ten of that. At least we got some factories in here. Let's max these out so it just keeps these producing at all times. Like secondary production will then be for uh, for that. Get some, you know. How are we looking on trade? Okay, I need a little bit less of everything, so that's pretty good for me. A little less chromium, a little bit less tungsten. I don't think I can do less tungsten. I need a lot less rubber, which is actually kind of great. So we can seize rubber trade. There we go. Ooh, when I'm gonna play more black ice. Um I don't know, uh, especially because Total War kind of solves some of my Black Ice issues. I might pick it up again, maybe after this, just do a comparative run. Black Ice is just such a... Uh, I don't know. So extreme. Uh, I might just click away the messages as well. Yeah, it might be just a reflex, because I hate the messages popping up on my screen most of the time. Anyway, like, can you just... I really need to... I thought my um, uh, close air support would actually hit them a little bit harder than they are doing. Uh, also, this airfield is overstacked, so let's move some out. I'll move our spy planes over here. And let's duplicate these and have them flying over here as well to protect the aircraft a little bit. I don't know how many enemy fighters we've got here. A couple of them. Alright, so it shouldn't be that bad. Also, that's not what I want you to do. Is that the same for here? No, it seems that that dairy only ones that are the wrong orders. Oh, and you as well. Alright, we got good intel. Okay, they're done for. Maybe I should just clean up Belgium, just because it might... Belgium is guaranteeing the independence of Denmark, really. Okay, I'll enjoy. We've got some more coastline we need to protect, so let's just protect a little bit more coastline. Um, there we go. How do I have submarines engaging shit? Like, really, I have no fleets or ships active. Also, let's make things a little bit easier. I want the new miners deploy in Brest. So they're already on that end. Oh! That explains a lot. They have the same flick fucking flag right now. Well, similar flag to ours on when they're that small because of the uh, occupation. You're right. No, wait. Are these Norwegian? They, they look so similar on this small little flag. But yeah, you're right, there are Norwegian submarines. Thank you for spotting that, I, I, even I can't see that. And I'm, I'm pretty blind, apparently. Alright, uh, what am I gonna do about this, though? I think I really have to bite the bullet and start producing some low-effort actual bombers. Wait, these are... Oh, these are CV bombers. Wait, can they bomb? Like, gen actual... Oh, but... Now what I want to see, can I see... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to start uh, starting to pay you for, like, for a second pair of eyes, because I can't see shit. <laughs> I got some transports, this is, uh, I think it's just a CV bomber, medium light aircraft. What, what the hell are we looking at here? It's just a close air support, so it's not... The kind of fuck aircraft is that? Oh, it's just, it's literally our level one CAS. I should have just Junker bombers, but they're in the, I removed them, I think, from the list, so. Um, where are you? I am blind. I think, get our, these are? Oh, let's get a couple of them going. It's gotta be bitchy. Oh, okay, so these are not the best version. Wait, are these better? No, these are better. What do you mean there's a better version? 
God, I hate this game. Hey, is that a... What are you pissing on about? But better versions. This is the best version that we have. Right, let's get a couple... Of oh, we already have 650 of them. Alright, let's just... Uh, yoink. Um, oh god, this is just the amount of aircraft that we have. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Uh, we got 750 of the type, apparently. So let's just, you know, max the fleet out. There we go. Fly over there and start bombing the living shit out of specifically only uh, bunkers. There we go. Alright, hey ho, let's go. Yeah, I don't think it's true though. Um, anyway, uh, let's get some more miners. And I think I can overproduce on this, so I can actually keep on that. So we can actually produce a couple of these more. Yeah, it says that it's it's not the best bomber, but wait, or is this literally a better version? Oh wait, what? No, this is the one I'm producing. Everything just looks the flipping same, man. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't. It doesn't say which one is the best. It's uh, because I. It might be because of these naval bombers that it's considering them better bombers. Because the only other options, these, this is close air support, close air support. This is a shittier version of a light bomber. Because you can see that in the production, which is cheaper. And if you also look at... It doesn't even have... Oh, strategic bombing 2. Strategic bombing 3. This is a fighter. This is a fighter. This is a fighter. Fighter, 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 fighter. This is... Yeah, neither are mine, but I'm pretty sure that I've got the right thing going here. And that that's just the game being a bit of a dickwad. Why do I always need more rubber? Like, you can't have enough rubber, apparently. Anyway, things are looking pretty okay. Um, I might switch to... Whoop. Some construction engineering soon. Oh wow, this looks funny. Ooh. Doesn't work as intended. Um, oh wow, just f free research speed. Uh, fuel gain from refineries, that might be necessary. Ah, we're still good. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what, go what, what goes. Um, hey, you got another tank? Good. Um, right now, I do have a... Started getting a desire to start researching some of these. Get the big screen shipyards, because they will make... Um, overall screen ships, so that's destroyers. Oh wow, people in France are resisting occupation. Who would have thought that? That reminds me, let's keep the passive defense growing. I don't know what they're doing. We have another aggression pact still in place. Oh, we don't actually. Son of a bitch. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons I'm training more army, because I don't really want to get stabbed in the back by those dickwads. Okay, we got this guy done. Great, alright, I need to reload, because it would be nice to be able to do my espionage bit. Uh, probably should start decrypting the Russians, though. Can I get my spy view? Where is the Russian decryption button? There we go. Um, can get rid of the Polish one. Get the English one. Alright, let's do one at a time. I don't need the... There we go, 555 days. We should get a message when they really start to try to fuck things up, so... That looks like a mess. Well, Italy can solve that on its own. I don't care. Um, right. Still, production is a thing. I want my... Construction speed to go up first. And my factory output going up second. 
And might want to replace you because you're no longer really useful. Um, and get infrastructure, civilian factories, land coast and coastal forts, factory output, max entrenchment. Oh my god, you sound like an amazing guy to have. And I don't longer need the 3% consumer goods. That's probably quite a lot, actually, considering that I have... Yeah, no, that's pretty, pretty large amount, actually. <laughs> I must... I might have made a mistake here. I'm not even a war economy yet. Well... Oops. <laughs> oh, we got a... Oh, we actually got some interesting stuff here. French reparations for 180 days. Replaced a rat, but I expanded rad. Well, that's pretty good. We got Western knowledge, so let's get some extra research slots. I right, so you can't go because you really, literally, don't have enough naval dominance, right? Right. All right, recon's gonna need some more radio. Um, everybody and his mother. Is, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! We got the wrong slot selected. There we go. Um, okay, this is still ahead of time. Oh wait, this one isn't. Um, that's pretty good but not what I need right now. I need a lot of things that I don't have right now. Right, so let's get the dockyard output higher. I need a lot more steel. I actually don't need more military factories though. Um, so let's get you in. Let's get you in. And let's go to construction and let's get you all down because I, like I said, I don't want any more factories right now. Because it's starting to eat through my resource faster than I can bring it in. Alright, well they, they are a little less problematic. How are the forts looking? Okay, so we're pretty much starting to hit the forts finally. So it's starting to happen. Got supply aircraft flying here? I think I do actually. Apparently I don't have 650 light bombers. Or we're losing them at a rapid rate. Alright, you can... Oh, nope. Not delete that. Got another, myself another tank. You can keep your infantry. Um, okay, so we're, we're good here. Good. Um, yeah, I'm really behind on my radios. Oh shit, I'm behind on a lot of things. A lot of research needs to happen and that kind of stuff. Uh, Alright, so we got our first mine layers. Good. Good, 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 good. I need a lot more of those. So let's just lessen our convoy amount, increase our mine layer amount, to get the resources we need. Oh, chromium is going to become a problem. Is there a way for me to get some cheap chromium except for invading Turkey? I don't think there is. And I don't think I can build chromium factories. No, I can't. Those steel refineries might... Wait, what? Another upgrade that I can do that might lead to more other bits. Let's see, aluminium. <gasps> what? But that's so good. Okay. Well, I've got some more research that I need to do. Again. Still. There's too much research, man, and not enough research slots. <laughs> um, like, it's really bad. Uh, so, yeah, I need the dockyard output to be pushed up, but I think I'm going to go down this first. Let's just start with getting the steel refineries researched. Oh, God. Uh, let's get the better Junkers Stukas. Let's try to get some more rubbers in. Italy wants to send 55 expeditionary forces. I don't give a shit, Italy. Lead your own army. I've got trouble enough leading my own damn army. How are we looking on bombing the crap out of this area? Not that great. Seems my bombers are not really doing their job. Now what will happen if I tell you to start mining this area? Will you sink within two seconds? Well, we're actually sinking some stuff. Oh, we're sinking a lot more than I thought. 
That's not that bad. Alright, so this is probably a bad idea. How long before you get your ass kicked? Let's give you actually a commander. Uh, let's put you on like, run like little bitches. And your automatically split offs are allowed. Do you have any research slot bonuses in the national decisions? Um, what I can do. Oh, we got rice commerce at Niederlande. Let's put that one in first. That saves me from making use of that. I can, if I have enough points, get um, like motivated research teams, which is pretty good. But I need to get at least, I need to do one thing first. It doesn't really matter that much, but I need to get my war economy going first because the consumer goods will speed up and other stuff. Not that we really have a low amount of factories, but yeah. Uh, right, don't need to do that. Okay. I have, no, we're still mine laying here. Oh, there we go. That is the uh, British trying to uh, engage my mine layers. Now, the funny thing is, they probably... Oh, they're still looking for each other. My mine layers just kind of just buzzed off. Oh, they're just running away when they... That's uh, perfect. Let's see. Yep, just gotta say like, hey. And we occasionally sink a British ship. That's perfect. All right, so it looks like this might be the way to go. So what I'm gonna do actually is gonna tell this guy to just get like that, and then all the new destroyers should probably go into the new fleet, or should in theory go into the new fleet. I've right, got another tank, good. Oh, you mean the uh, uh, focus tree? Um, there is still one over here, an extra research slot. The kind of what I'm slowly working towards to. And I needed London for this one, which is actually not that great. But the Western Knowledge is, I think, the last research slot I can get. So if I search for a slot. Space. Yeah, I also get synthetic slots, but this is a re Western Knowledge. Uh, this one as well. What do I need for that? Oh, I need some stuff for this. Um, stop it. So I need... Reorganized industry. For that, I need Albert Speer to lead, but I also need to have. Oh, I just Albert Speer of Dispersed Industry 5. I don't have Dispersed Industry, so I need Albert Speer in charge. So, Speer, I need. Oh, I just need 1942. Alright, so I can't do that yet. So, yeah, there's two, 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 two things remaining in the focus tree, but. Uh, Well, it looks like we're actually finally starting to gain control over the uh, the naval uh, thingy-bobs. Still 122 ships, but that's no longer 200 and something-ish ships that you had. And even I am looking at 53 ships by now, so fuck you. Alright, let's avenge for Zai, Western Knowledge, yeet. Get an extra research slot, because we need them. And hopefully we're laying... Hey, we got 1% mines! Woohoo! It is happening! It is happening. We've got four mine layers and they're mining. Yeah, I'm building mine miners. Just that's the, the warships I'm building are these late World War One destroyers that are just there to just lay mines. Mines give you um, naval supremacy. So combine that with air, then I need a couple of warships to just you know get the actual thing done. Um, I don't really want to go for engaging yet. However, I have the feeling maybe if we get a large-scale engagement going, um, we might sink a lot of shit. You know what? Let's just try that. Alright, just first things first. I'm actually need to reload the save game anyway, because, um... 